Hi there, my name is Adina and I'm on the membership team at the browser company. And in this video, I am going to be showing you the difference between bookmarks in Chrome and other browsers and pinned tabs in Arc. So let's start by looking at how Chrome does bookmarks. So you'll see here in Chrome, we have a couple open tabs and then we have our bookmarks bar down here. In Chrome, these are two very separate concepts between a tab and a bookmark. If I click on a bookmark, it'll open it in my current tab. So I just clicked on Twitter and it opened that link in the Twitter in the tab. If I click on this article, you'll notice it will open it in my current tab. Great. So that's how Chrome deals with bookmarks. Now let me minimize this and let's head to Arc. What you're looking at now is Arc, and the way we deal with kind of saving specific sites or apps is through a concept we call pinned tabs. Pinned tabs are any tab above this horizontal line here. You can pin a tab simply by dragging it up above this horizontal line. So if I wanted to go to Figma and maybe pin Figma, I'll just drag it up here to the top. By default, new tabs open below the horizontal line, so they're by default unpinned. And in Arc, pinned tabs are real live tabs, so they're tabs that you visit often, they exist already, you don't have to launch them, they're already open. So for example, let me pin this to-do list that I want to come back to later. Cool. So pinned tabs are really great for apps, things like, you know, email, Figma, you know, linear, things that you really care about visiting all the time that you want easily accessible. And that way you have them separate from the long tail of websites that you're randomly opening throughout the day. Let's say I have this article that I want to read, though. It's not quite an app. It's not something that's as important as anything up here, but it's something I really care about saving and having top of mind. You can use pinned tabs for that, too. So let's say this article, The Secret to Great Reference Calls, I want to visit it. I can pin it. I can pin it just here to the top, but I might pin it in a specific folder so that that way it's not always showing. It's easily openable, but it's not always showing. And there you go. Now it's easy to access. It's above the horizontal line. It won't get auto archived, etc. But let's say I'm on this tab and it's an open tab so I can move and navigate. You might notice that the URL actually changed and the tab looks a little different now. So how do you get back to that specific article about reference calls that I cared about saving? So in ARC, you can always navigate on tabs, but know that you can reset them back to their original URLs just as easily if there's a specific page you want to go back to. You can do that by clicking on the icon of the tab. So you'll see it actually lets me go back to this article. Let me click on it. And here we go. The tab is now reset back to the original URL that I pinned. You can also do this even quicker by typing in command T. So let's say I move away, I'll, I'll go to startups now. And let's hit command T, reset. And now I've just reset the tab back to its original URL and I'm back on that article. So that's how pin tabs work. For a quick overview, you can go to the easel in the link below, and you'll notice I share kind of how to best use pin tabs, both as apps and also as specific URLs that you want to come back to. Thanks so much for your time. Please hit command T and type the word question if you have any questions at all about any of this. And thanks so much for learning about pin tabs with me. Bye.